Welcome to Take It Up with Jessica Lee. I'm here with Steve Roberts, who is the Managing Director at Accenture. Steve, welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me today. Oh, my pleasure. I'm so looking forward to learning about your practice. This is the Industry X practice, right? That's right. And for Accenture, that means reinventing products. Okay. You know, there's... Um, some literature out there today around the fourth industrial revolution. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be limited to the fourth. We look at it as reinventing products and services into the future, bringing digital technology, innovation, modern engineering techniques, and most importantly, the user experience across those products. Okay. So we're out there in the industry helping our clients do that. Now, when you say industry X and that you're helping clients, uh, what are the actual companies, what type of companies are you helping? My industry segment mm -hmm. is CMT, which is communications, media, and technology. Okay. Technology for Accenture includes everything from business or enterprise equipment manufacturers okay. to semiconductor okay. to aerospace. So okay. It's fairly broad. It also includes software and platform companies. Okay. Steve, it would be helpful if you can give some examples of the innovation that you're working and the cases that you're working on. Our work in Industry X spans everything from upfront product design mm -hmm. through supply chain and manufacturing. Okay. So I'll just give you a few examples. Right? There are some uh, software companies here in the Valley where they've engaged us to do the product management and the entire platform redesign of parts of their core product. Okay. So we operate as product managers mm -hmm. defining feature specification and we provide the software engineering to rebuild parts of the platform and get it launched into the market. Okay. So that's pure kind of software engineering that there's, you know, people in the valley would understand. Mm -hmm. uh, there are other more interesting and very different technology type engagements. So for example, we're using blockchain at one of our clients to handle the data exchange with trust and verification around semiconductor manufacturing. Okay. Semiconductor manufacturing is historically a very sensitive industry around sharing data when there are problems in factories. Mm -hmm. We're using blockchain to get around that. There's another example I can think of where we're using AI and robotic process automation to take some of the mundane activities that, that hardware engineers do mm -hmm. and take it off their plate and use RPA to read engineering drawings, annotate engineering drawings, fill out bills of material so that engineers can focus on doing what they do best, which is hardware design. Yes. Analytics is very big for us. Mm -hmm. We're using analytics and machine learning at another company to optimize the number of design simulations that they can run mm -hmm. on their product before it goes to manufacture, which means they end up with a higher quality product in a shorter time frame. It's everything in between. Yes. All kinds of digital technologies, Lots of advisory work. There was a company uh, that we worked with recently that had acquired a couple of other companies. Okay. They were operating as though they were three separate companies in mm -hmm. product development. Okay. Okay. We took apart their entire value chain and helped them put it back together so that they could operate more efficiently. Great. Um, and earlier when we talked, you mentioned that having the uh, transformation um, like strategy and services that you offer, it enables the company to go to market much faster? That's our focus. So, it, you know, we did some research and, and this is publicly available data. Mm -hmm. If you look at the trends in R&D spend or mm -hmm. product development spend okay. in the CMT Global 2000, they spend $250 billion a year on R&D. So it's a huge spend. And what's interesting is that that spend rises year over year. So it rises both in terms of real dollars spent mm -hmm. and as a percent of those companies' revenue. So no one's going to touch R&D because it's really the lifeblood of how a company produces product mm -hmm. and capture, captures market share. Um, but there's waste in that area. There's opportunity to get to market faster with your product. There's opportunity to operate more efficiently in the product development process. Okay. And if you structure your product in the right way, it does open new businesses mm -hmm. or new business mm -hmm. models. Mm -hmm. SaaS, for example, which is really migrating toward platform now, these are new models that are, we see even traditional high-tech manufacturers going after because it creates a new revenue stream and a new market opportunity for them. 
So, for example, like a semiconductor, um, which I think is like spending 20% on R&D, yep. right? How, how is that changing? How are you helping them? Well, a couple of ways. So what we're seeing, more and more compute is being pushed to the edge, mm -hmm. which means there are more and more custom chips that need to be developed. Mm -hmm. Semiconductor companies traditionally have focused on a core product and a few derivatives that go to a few large customers. Okay. That's changing. Their customer base is changing. It's becoming more diversified, mm -hmm. and there's more need for derivative chip designs. Mm -hmm. So we help them with the overall process that they use to produce product chip designs more quickly and in more forms so that they can satisfy that diverse market need. Okay. So there's a, a lot of companies that you're touching, media, communications, high tech. You must have a big team. How big is the organization? <laughs> What's interesting about the way we do work, though, is we do work in three areas. So I was explaining to, to you earlier, it's really around advising mm -hmm. on R&D or product mm -hmm. development methods. Mm -hmm. It's on equipping engineers to build product mm -hmm. with tools and practices. And it's doing engineering. We do software engineering and platform engineering and chip design and okay. firmware. Okay. So we've got a large team. They're all Accenture employees. And we work alongside our clients to help them get their product to market faster or just develop product more efficiently. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you've been in consulting for a while. Forever. And you love it. I love it. 23 <laughs> years. I think I just passed the 23 year mark. Um, I particularly love Accenture. Okay. I've, I've been there forever, right mm -hmm. out of college. Um, it's given me the opportunity to do something new every few years. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Accenture is a firm. I'm really excited about our strategy. We have tremendous leadership, tremendous vision. Um, I think we have courage. We have courage to tackle markets even when our business is strong already. Mm. We'll, we'll define what's going to be new and we'll make a concerted effort to push in that direction. And uh, it's a very inspirational place to work. I've loved it. 23 years in, I mean, there aren't very many 23 year careers That's anymore. Right. And uh, a big part of that is I see great leadership and I see great market opportunity, and I've been fortunate enough to be given opportunities to lead some of those. Okay, and this this market that you're in is in the in the billions. Billions. Yes. Billions. You know, I I, uh, I can't share too many numbers here with you, but it's a it's a market that we expect to grow mm -hmm. significantly. Mm -hmm. If you just look at raw spend in R&D and product development in supply chain. Mm -hmm. Supply chain is part yes. of my practice as well. Um, our clients globally are spending hundreds of billions and that money needs to be spent wisely. They need to make wise pivots mm -hmm. in their product, mm -hmm. in their service, in their user experience, in how they go to market. And we believe with our combination of advisory skills, uh, practitioner skills, engineering skills, and our ecosystem partners that we work with, that we have a lot of value that we can bring. Let's talk about the workforce. Are you recruiting with this uh, balance for better uh, mm -hmm. in mind and a diversity and inclusion in mind? Inclusion and diversity is huge for us, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, it is a top priority for our CEO. Mm -hmm. It is a top priority in my practice. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not all the way there yet. But I'll tell you that it's an important metric that we measure quarter okay. over quarter. Okay. And I'm most excited about uh, particularly some of the junior practitioners that are coming into my practice. Mm -hmm. High diversity mix, a lot of STEM degrees, a lot of women, um, some minorities. We're working to grow that. Mm -hmm. But overall, the mix is going in the right direction yes. in what is traditionally a male-dominated field. So I'm pretty excited about that because it, it brings a brings a new vibe, it brings a new energy, mm -hmm. uh, it brings a different mix. Uh, that mix is important to our clients as well. Yes, actually, you know, we we're very conscious of showing up to client meetings or presentations with uh, a non-diverse group. We don't want that. Yes, I, I have. Uh, I've had conversations with leaders where they say. That, They've chosen not to work with a particular vendor just because when they look at the mix of the top management, yeah. that it's not diverse enough. I agree. Um, so we, we have had that direct feedback as well. Okay, that's good. So I, I'm glad to hear that quarter to quarter you are you know, improving on that. It's not 50-50 and it's not 100% uh, as far as the representation of diversity, but progress is good. So what's exciting? What's ahead? Oh boy. 
you know, the um, the state of where product development is going and the changes that we're seeing in industries. Mm -hmm. So take the comms industry, right? They used to be about network equipment and handsets. Now they're about over the top media streaming mm -hmm. and devices that engage users in using that network or media companies that used to make content and use distributors to distribute it. Now they're becoming direct to consumer. Yes. Aerospace, which you look at as a bit of a stodgy old industry, they're no longer about just selling aircraft in one-time transactions. Mm -hmm. They're about an ongoing relationship with airlines for aftermarket service. Mm -hmm. You look at high-tech manufacturers moving to software. You look at software and platform companies that are starting to build devices. I mean, if that's not exciting, I don't know what is. It's a convergence of five or six industries in a way that I don't think anyone predicted 10 years ago. Wow. You are, I can see why you stay with Accenture because it is a very strategic position you're in and it's a massive impact that you can make. It is, it is. And you know, the best part about it is our Industry X practice is uh, it's growing very quickly and it's like a startup. We operate like a startup. So it's all hands on deck. We've got wanting to help our client and we're backstopped by this global firm that is itself excited about Industry X. So it's really the best of both worlds. I'm, I'm having the most fun I've had in 23 years. But there must be some challenges, right? Not oh, all rosy. Of course there are challenges. I mean, there are always big company challenges. Um, our clients are challenged, right? Many of our clients are um, determining their strategies mm -hmm. for the next few years. Mm -hmm. But I think if you look at uh, I always tell people you should look at your career not as the last six months or the last project in consulting. Mm. You have to look at your career over the entire length of your career. And there will always be big company challenges. In consulting, there will always be client challenges. Your job is to figure out how to navigate that mm -hmm. and do it in a way that keeps your perspective fresh and keeps your enthusiasm high and keeps your team's enthusiasm high. Mm, okay. and, and that's the job. And that's the job. And that's why you're the leader with that kind of thinking. I, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Well, Steve, thank you so much for being on the show and sharing with us. I appreciate you taking the time to explain Industry X and the exciting, exciting things that you're doing. Thank you for having me. I enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. Take it up with Jessica Lee, Steve Roberts, Managing Director at Accenture. Thank you.